Camp Delight campers. I'm Melissa, your Arts and Crafts Coordinator. And today for our Junior Arts and Crafts activity, we are going to be creating with clay. So you're going to have the opportunity to make just little figurines or ornaments, or you can also make a fridge magnet. Uh, so here's some examples of what uh, you might want to make. So this is a little butterfly that I can hang on my fridge, has magnet on the back. And this is a little bird that I made, so you can make 3D figures or kind of flat figures. It's totally up to you. Make sure to add your creativity and your uh, use your imagination when you're creating. And we'd love to see um, what you make afterwards if you'd like to share with us. Now, let's get making. Okay, so the materials we're going to be working with with our clay will be the four different colors of clay that came in your uh, clay kit. Yours may be different than mine. Everybody has different ones. Um, we are also going to have two magnets um, so that you can add these to your creations afterwards if you want to create a magnet like for your fridge. We also have some different tools that can be used um, to make shapes and cut your clay. So we have things like a plastic fork, fork knife and spoon, a straw, a plastic coffee stirrer, um, a toothpick, and some different things that we can just kind of use to model the clay if you wish. And then from your general arts and crafts bag, you're also going to want to grab your permanent marker, your scissors, as well as your plastic tablecloth. This is going to help a lot with uh, protecting your workspace. You could also use um, an old um, placemat if you want to as well because the clay is quite sticky and you don't want it to stick to any table or workspace that you're working on. Okay, the first thing that we're going to want to do is protect our workspace. So I have a plastic placemat down here. This is where your red tablecloth is going to come into um, play. And what we're going to want to do is open our four packets of uh, clay. So the clay is quite squishy. You want to be careful when you're doing this. So I'm just going to squish it down a little bit and then cut in the bag where there is no clay there at the top. All right, so now using this clay, um, you can make anything that you want to make. There's lots of different ideas. It can be something that looks realistic or something that's totally made up out of um, your imagination. So I think I'm going to make a kite today. Um, something you do want to pay attention to is this is air dry clay. So if it is left out, it is going to dry the way that it is and you won't be able to use it anymore. So if you have any left over, uh, make sure you put it in like a Ziploc sealable bag so that the air won't get to it and it will last for you. It's really fun to play with, um, so you might want to play with it later if you don't use all of it today. So I'm going to start out and make a little kite and kind of show you how I do that. I'm going to use some of my tools to cut and make different shapes and uh, use some of my different colors that I have available. Okay, so now once I'm happy with um, whatever I've created, if I want to turn it into a magnet, I'm going to take one of the magnets that I have in my kit, and before it dries, because right now it's still, um, it's still clay, I could reshape this if I wanted to, so I'm just going to pick it up here on the back, and I'm just going to press this magnet into the back to make a little bit of space for it, just like that, without hurting 
um, what I did in the front. So you can see it's kind of just laid there right now. But I'm going to lay it down flat to dry like that and the magnet will um, kind of slowly go into the back as it dries around it and gravity will help pull the clay down towards the mat. So I'll just leave it in there flat. Um, if you need to later once it dries you can always add a drop of glue in there if you find that it falls out. So I'm going to let my kite now um, dry for at least 24 hours if it's kind of like um, a, a muggy day out you might even want to let it dry for more and what you'll notice that it will dry it's still kind of a foamy texture um, but it will dry for you and you'll be able to put it use it as a magnet or it could just be a little decoration so there's lots of different ideas that you can do um, I did the kite here but here are some examples that I've done um, that I already did that have completely fully dried so this is a donut you can see in the back there's the magnet so I put this up on my fridge I have a little bird right here so it's just a model bird um, and I made all the parts kind of separate and then just um, stuck them together while it was still um, wet we also have a little snail and you'll notice that the snail once it's dried is when you can use your permanent marker to add any details you want. So for the snail, I added some black around his shell, some little dots on his back, and of course his little eye there as well. You can also make any letters or um, shapes that you want to. So this is M because my name is Melissa. And again, in the back, you'll see that there's a magnet there because this one can go on the fridge. This one is just a heart that I kind of put some details on. I can easily draw on it with the marker just to show you. It draws on really nicely once it's dried, but please don't try drawing on it if it is not yet dried um, because it's still quite wet and it won't stick to it the same. But once it's dried, it's kind of like drawing on foam. Okay, so it's really easy to mark on. And then this is a butterfly that I also made. So you can see that I use a lot of my tools to make um, some of the shapes in the butterfly's wings and around the edge. And I use a lot of the different colors here um, to make up different parts of the body. Same thing, this one it has a magnet in the back because it goes on the fridge. So there are lots of different ideas here that you can do. Um, be creative, come up with anything that you want to make and make your magnets or make your little ornaments. You can also make things like um, flowers or cars, different animals, you can make up a monster, um, you can make a handprint if you wanted to, a plant, um, planets, anything that you can come up with. I hope you had fun with Camp Delight Arts and Crafts today. Please make sure to share any photos or videos that you'd like with us. Uh, you can use social media using Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter to connect with us using the hashtag CampDelight2020. Or you can always use email to send us any photos or videos. Our camp email address is CampDelight at CandlelightersNL.ca. We look forward to hearing from you. See you next time.